Brother Scott, Brother Scott Hickel's 15th article. If God is love, God is love, 1 John 4, 8. How does eternal hell fit into God's love? It does not. Eternal hell is no is nowhere in Scripture. Love never fails, 1 Corinthians 13, 8, and does not take an and take account of evil, 1 Corinthians 13, 5 through 6. If people are in eternal hell for their unbelief or any other reason, then that would be God's that would be God failing and taking into account of evil that of that person, thus making these scriptures a lie. God wills all men to be saved and come to the, and to, come to the knowledge of the truth. Verse Timothy two four. If God is love, then this desire to have all men saved would mean exactly that. That God wants all men to be saved. If God is Almighty, He will accomplish His will. That this is not a weak wish that human free will cannot thwart. God wills all men to be saved because He is love, and all men will be saved because God is sovereign and all powerful. God works. All in accord with the counsel of his will, Ephesians 1.11. Men cannot act independently or of God, and each will be saved by the blood of Christ in his or her own order. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before even one of them came to be. Song 139.16. Why would Jesus teach us to love our enemies if he was going to torture his enemies for all eternity? The answer is that God's judgments are... A part of his love, they are corrective. They are not eternal. One of God's, once God's judgments run its course, even those judged in the most severe way will be reconciled to God through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Love, grace, and peace to all who are listening. I love all you. Thank you for listening. Leave a comment in the comment section. God bless all of you.